Good evening and happy Halloween. I'm Bill Snyder, Sports Information Director at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, and welcome to another edition of Bulldog Blitz. This week it's a pre-playoff edition, as tomorrow the Bulldogs take on Northwest in the first round of the playoffs right here at AL May Memorial Stadium on the Perk campus. With me as always is Gulf Coast Head Coach Steve Campbell. Coach, this week, you know, we were going to dress up. You know, I was thinking about maybe dressing as Marty McFly from Back to the Future, but we decided not to. See, so you got the reference in got right the off reference. the bat. That's good. Because we've got this reference thing going, the superstitious thing. I know you got the gold vest on. I went alternate. I went uh, navy blue today. This is my uh, Joe Perk, Joe College get up, and I love it. Thanks to Tammy Weathers in the bookstore for hooking me up with the nice vest. So we're ready to play. We look good. We feel good. Now we got to go out and uh, take care of Northwest. We do. Uh, Northwest has an outstanding football team. They've made a lot of improvements since uh, we played them earlier in the year. Uh, very good quarterback, can really throw the football around the park, a lot of good receivers, and uh, they've improved every week on defense. So it'll be a big challenge for us, but one that we're looking forward to. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the Northwest game a little bit later. And we're going to look at the lighter side of Bulldog Blitz as well. But coming up after the break, a little more about uh, the season in a whole for Gulf Coast as we've gone 7-2 and two and another successful season as we get ready for the playoffs. We're going to take a look at that right after this. You're watching Bulldog Blitz here on WLOX. <laughs> And welcome back to Bulldog Blitz. Well, it's been another exciting season here at Gulf Coast. We finished the year at 7-2, and two, and as Dr. Lott likes to say, we're two fumbles away from being undefeated. So when we talk about this season, it's really come down to three or four plays. Um, we'll start with the offense. They've done a really great job. They had some trouble with ball security midway through the year, but other than that, uh, it's been exactly what we look for, number one in the state in rushing offense, and that's what that's what you dream about. It is. You know, you, you, you win games by being able to run the football and stop the run. And, uh, we're number one in, in rushing offense. We're number one in rushing defense, and that's where it all starts. If you can uh, offensively, if you can run the football, move the chains, try to keep the defense off the field, and, and defensively uh, force the team to be one-dimensional, make them throw the football, then uh, you can do some things. You can blitz them uh, with our secondary. We've got some playmakers back there, some guys that can pick it off and take it back the other way. Uh, you really limit what, a, what an offense can do. Uh, so that's our number one goal each year is to, to be strong running the football and to be strong against the run and then to build around that. you got to have something to build around, and that's what we, you know, that's the cornerstone of, of what we're trying to do. And, and we've been successful in running the football and successful in stopping the run, and that, that's where it all starts. And speaking of something to build on, have been running the ball really well. Uh, and lately in the last, what, couple, three or four games, some of the passing games starting to get going. Receivers are getting open. Greg's finding them. And uh, much like last year, as the year went on, the passing game slowly improved. And there's been, been some big plays. There have. We've had some, some people step up for us, you know, each week. Uh, you know, Kevin Barkley's made some big plays, caught a big post pattern last week against Jones. Uh, you know, uh, Kelvin Bolden has made some big plays. Uh, Moncrief has been injured. But uh, before he got hurt, he was making some big plays uh, early in the year. Brandon Johnson caught the ball well out of the backfield and, and scored some touchdowns early in the year. Uh, so we uh, have been building our, our passing game. Greg is getting better each week. You know, pass efficiency-wise, he's up at the top of the league. Uh, you know, he's only thrown four picks this year, uh, which, 
you know, uh, his touchdown to, uh, to interception ratio is greater than two to one, which is very good for, especially for a freshman quarterback. So he's done a lot of good things. Uh, our pass defense has really improved over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we were giving up some yards, you know, earlier in the year, the past couple of weeks against Hines who can throw the football and Jones who can throw the football. Our pass defense has really played outstanding. Uh, big thing. Uh, defensively, they're they're creating turnovers and uh, they're they're getting the ball back if they're not taking it all the way in for a touchdown, which is which is huge. Uh, they they've done a great job of creating turnovers, and here lately, uh, we've done a good job of, of limiting the turnovers. Which uh, after last week's game against Jones, we we had a lot of we created a lot of turnovers defensively and offensively. We had zero turnovers that put us back at the top of the league in turnover ratio. So, if you can run the football, stop the run, and be at the top of the league in, in turnover ratio, you're going to have a chance to, to, to win a lot of games. Definitely on, on special teams, the X factor has been Demon Washington. I think it's four straight or four straight games he's scored either on uh, a pick six or on a punt return or kickoff return. So he's really gotten into a groove. He has. You know, Demond is he's doing the things over there on defense that we thought he was going to be able to do. You know, that's why we made the move. I mean, he is being a difference maker on, on that side of the football and and you know as well as special teams. So uh, he has really added a lot to us. And you know, he's he's just a big time playmaker if you can get the ball in his hands and ought to discourage some people from from throwing it over his way because he's got a great chance to, to go get it. Damian Jackson has really stepped up on on that side of the football and, and he kind of roamed center field out there and you know he replaced an All-American in Tremaine Brock and uh, you know Damian to me has has uh, he's got you know All-American capabilities himself. He, he'll, he can uh, go get the football and take it back the other way as well. Now uh, we'll switch gears and look ahead to tomorrow's game with Northwest. We played them first game of the season a long time ago, 39-14. We beat them up in Senatobia. Uh, what's changed about them since then, other than they've won, I think, four in a row? <laughs> right, right. They've, uh, you know, they, they started off the year, they got beat by us, then they won, then they lost, then they won, then they lost. Since that point in time, they've, you know, they've won four in a row. They're on a little bit of a roll. This past week against Northeast, they scored 50 points. I believe the week before they scored 40. And the week before that, they scored 41. So they've scored a, 130 points in the last three weeks. So they're explosive offensively. Uh, the quarterback's got a lot more confidence. When we played them, that was his first college football game. Uh, their offensive line had yet to gel at that point in time. We were really able to get after the quarterback, and uh, they were struggling running the football. And defensively, we just did a great job against them. Uh, since that point in time, they played a lot of football games. They, they've come together. They're gelling as a unit. Uh, quarterback's getting the football out of his hand a lot quicker. And, uh, you know, they, they're – they have found out who their playmakers are as well and, and are doing a better job of, of getting those guys the ball. Defensively, uh, they've improved. They're not giving up as many big plays as they were earlier in the year. And then, you know, special teams-wise, they've really come on. They blocked a couple of punts against uh, Northeast this past week, and uh, they've got a dangerous man in the in the kickoff return game. So they've, they've made improvements from week one to, to week nine and a uh, much better football team than what we saw earlier in the year. Definitely, it should be a great game tomorrow at 2 o'clock here at AOMA Memorial Stadium. Remember, we beat them earlier this year, then we beat them last year in the playoffs, and we had that great overtime game during the regular season last year. So plenty of fireworks on tap for tomorrow. But coming up after the break, the lighter side of Bulldog Blitz. Don't miss that. It's going to be fun. You're watching Bulldog Blitz here on WLOX. Technology changes every day, but some things never change. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College knows you want affordable tuition, user friendliness, and great instructors. They deliver information on demand, they're experts in their field, and they're your link to a social network of personal communication. Seems the more things change, the more things remain the same. Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, real-time education just for you. 